What do I expect? I expect that all of you who attended this encounter would bring back that hope in your heart. That you would begin to dream again and you would become more hopeful for your life. Most of us have guilt, have sinned in the past, we have bad experience, we have failure, and sometimes we don't want to move on, but this encounter will help you to recover your hope. Amen? And I pray that after that encounter, you will be saying to yourself, I'm a new man with a new hope for this new world. Amen? And I pray that your expectation na yon, mangyayari po yon, as we go through the process of this encounter. Probably I'd like to ask one important question. Why encounter is necessary? Why this church is conducting encounter? Bakit, bakit meron tayong encounter? What's the purpose of this? I think we better ask that question first so that we know why we are here tonight. Amen? Tama po ba? No? Of course, uh, bago ko sagutin yung tanong na yon, lahat po kayo nagbayad para sa encounter na ito. No? As you know, yung binabayad po na yon, pag hindi kayo na-bless, binabalik po namin yon. Halimbawa, sabi mo, grabe, umutin ako, walang nangyari sa buhay ko. Solid yung pera ko. Sino solid po namin? Ulitin ko ha, pag hindi kayo na-bless, solid. Okay? Amen. Siguro po mga dalawang daang encounter na. So paro, wala pang humingi ng soli. Malay mo, baka ikaw yung una. <laughs> wala pa talaga eh. Wala pa. Sabi mo sa katin mo, malay mo, baka ikaw yon. <laughs> gusto mo ikaw yon? Sino yung gusto mo? Ako yung sana makuha ko yung balik. <laughs> Amen? Pero sa totoo lang po, for the last 200, more than 200 encounters that we have conducted, no one dared to share. Hindi ako na-blessed. Every one of them, na-bless sila. Because during the encounter after three days, number one, they gain freedom in their life. Hindi tayo makamove forward until those chains in our life, in our thinking, in our heart, matanggal yung mga chains of darkness na yun. Are you listening? Every human being like you and me need freedom. Come on, say the word freedom. freedom. Ito yung freedom na yun. Iyon ang kayang i-offer sa atin ng Panginoon. You know, this world can never offer you freedom. But in Christ, through His blood, He will set you free. Amen. Hindi tayo makamove forward because we are in bondage. We are under control by demonic powers. We are under curses. But let me tell you this. The day you encounter the Lord Jesus Christ, He will help you to be set free. Amen. Some of you is under the chain of your past, your failure, you know, your guilt, your sin, and it seems you feel bad about yourself. You don't see yourself, you know, moving forward because you're in chain. And that is the power of darkness. But I tell you, the blood of Jesus, when you come and meet him and encounter God, you will be set free. Amen. How many among you have an expectation? Mapapalaya ako ni Lord. Amen. Yung dating ako, hindi na yon, no? You know what? Si Pastor Rio, dati po akong adik. At hindi ko po kinakaila po yon. I was so bad in the past. Pero I can tell you, Noon yun, hindi na ngayon yun. Why? Because the Lord had set me free. Amen? So kung meron kayong, kung kayo po ay sinner, I am the, I am the least among the sinner. But God set me free. Yun lang ay pagmamalaki ko. Masama ang buhay ko dati, pero pinalaya ako ng Panginoon. At binigyan niya ako ng bagong buhay. Amen? And that's the power of encounter. Pag na-encounter niyo ang Panginoon, God will help you to be free. How many of you want to be set free? Amen? Yung inyong past mistakes, past failure, God will set us free. Pangalawa, hindi lamang po tayo binibigyan ng freedom. But pangalawa, ito po isang napakahalagang salita na dapat yung makuha ang bawat isa. You know, kailangan-kailangan po natin ng fire sa heart po natin. Nowadays, people who claim Christian are so cold about God. Now we call them religion. Why? Religion can proclaim that he loves God, but the heart is so cold. Do you understand that? We, we declare that Christ is Christ of our life, 
But the way we perform, the way we act, it seems that there's no God. Why? Because there's no more passion, there's no more fire. Amen. Wala nang fire ang heart natin. And I realize, some of you are young people here. You cannot make it until the Lord set your heart on fire for Him. Amen? Sino sa inyo gusto ang heart ninyo maging on fire? Yung bang parang patay na patay ka kay Lord? No? Gusto niyong maranasan niyo yung parang baliw na baliw kay Lord ngayon. Hindi ka na, na, hindi ka na, na wala nang dating siya yung mga guwapo, yung mga, wala, mas grabe si Lord lagi. Parang nag, mm, hallelujah. You, you, know you know what I mean, right? Amen? Naranasan niyo na ba yung you forget everything because you are madly in love with God. Why? Because something is sparked in your heart and now your heart is on fire. And I tell you, you are unstoppable because one day you become a lover of God. Sino sa inyo gusto yung magmahal kayo ng totoo sa Panginoon? You don't want religion anymore. I want real thing. Tama? Ma'am, you know what? I'm tired of religion because religion will make you love God once a year. Hmm. You join religion, it will require you love God once a year. So tuwing mahal na araw, punta ka ng pampanga, magpapapako ka. Tuwing January, magpuprosesyon ka. That's just religion right there. Kaya mo yun araw-araw. Hindi mo gagawin yun. Why? Because that's religion. But you know, the day you love God, the day God put the sparks of fire in your heart, you will, you will tell God, Lord, I want to love you every day. Kapag ako nasa eskwelahan, mahal ko si Lord. Pag nasa bahay ako, mahal ko si Lord. Kaya lahat ng gusto ni Lord, yun ang ginagawa ko. Yung ayaw niya, ayaw ko nun. And I tell you, life will be changed because your heart is on fire for God. Habang narito kayo, mag-pray kayo, Lord, lagyan mo ako ng apoy. Ha? Hindi yung, iba kasi minsan naglilihab tayo sa iba eh. Sana ako maging kamukha ni Barbie. Di ba? Yung mga, yung mga, yung mga nag-aapoy sa atin, sana maging kamukha ako ni Britney Spears. Pero sino sa inyo nag-aapoy, sana maging kamukha ko at maging kawangis ko ang Panginoon. Iba yun eh, no? Amen? And I know that fire is needed right now in your life. And I know when you come to the encounter, God will not just set you free, but God will set you on fire to love God. Amen po ba? Pangatlo, hindi lang kayo bibigyan ng freedom ng fire at bibigyan kayo ng focus. You know, when your heart is free and your heart is on fire, Saan mo gagamitin yan? Ha? Saan mo gagamitin yan? Then God will give you vision. And that dream, that vision, will be your focus in your life. Amen? Nung ako po yung nakakilala sa Panginoon, no 1984, God set me free and then God set my heart on fire and then God gave me vision. And through the days of my life, since 1984 until today, the vision is still the same. World conquest. Amen? Hindi na ako mapakali. Pag nakakita ako ng mga estudyante, sinesyara ko ng gospel. Yun pala, magiging pastor na ako. Hindi pa ako pastor, nagsisyara ako ng gospel. Why? Niligyan ako ni Lord ng focus. Ang focus ko, yung focus ng Diyos. Yung concern ni Lord, naging concern ko. God is on a rescue mission. And that is His focus. And it becomes my focus. Sino sa inyo want to join the rescue mission? Iba sa inyo, di ba makasagot niyo? Ano yun? <laughs> Why? Because your focus ngayon, laging ano, sana makabili ako ng bahay ng kotse at kung ano-ano pa, di ba? Sometimes yun lang ang focus natin. You know what? The day you encounter the Lord, hindi niya lang isa set on fire ang yung heart, hindi niya lang palalayaan. But I tell you, God will give you vision. Amen? Sino yung gusto magkaroon ng vision? Magkakaroon ka ng dream. Dream not on your own, but a dream that comes from God. It was birthed during the time you are encountering the Lord and God will give you that dream and you will say within yourself, I want to make history out of my life. I want to make a difference. Lord, I want to become a history maker. Lord, let me change this world for the glory of your name that will happen to you. Why? Because God will give you vision. Are you listening? Kaya nga po, dito po sa encounter natin, pagpunta nyo po dito, may excite kayo. Again, let me go back to that question. Why encounter is important? I want you to look into the Bible in Exodus chapter 19 verse 3. Okay? Sabi po dito, Then Moses went up to God and the Lord called to him from the mountain and said, This is what you are to say to the descendants of Jacob. 
and what you are to tell the people of Israel. Sabi niya, tingnan niyo muna ako. Ito sabihin mo sa kanila. You know, that story comes from this. They were under the bondage of the Egyptian Empire. You know, for how many years? 400 years. Have you ever imagined a nation being loved by God is under tribulation, under bondage for the last 400 years, never been, you know, in the church, walang service, walang church sila, they never even talk to God, no one prays, no one read the Bible for how many years? 400 years. Now, let me ask this question. Saan sila din nila ni Lord? Sabi nung isa sa akin, Pastor, sa promise land. Sino na niniwala nung paglibas nila sa Egypt, dadalhin sila ni Lord sa promise land. Say Amen. Amen? Dadalhin sila sa promise. Can you imagine, from bondage, papalayain na sila at bibigyan sila ng bagong lupain. Ang tawag daw doon, ano? Come on, say Lord, promise land. So usually, ang, pi, ang bawat kristyano, nung binabasa po ito, Meron tayong promised land mentality the day we come to know the Lord God. So, pag naging Christian ka, masayang-masaya kasi, alam mo, ibibless tayo. Oo. May magkakaroon tayo ng mga lupain. Yayaman tayo. Yung agad iniisip natin. Alam nyo ba si Lord, ibang iniisip niya? His thought is not our thought. His ways is not our ways. On this passage, God revealed himself kung ano ang plano niya doon sa millions of people coming out from Egypt before they proceed to promised land. Ito sinabi niya, tell this to my people, sabi niya. Pagdating po, you yourself have seen what I did to Egypt. Ang dami niyang ginawang miracles doon, ano? And how I carried you on what? On eagle's wings, ang sabi po ng Bible. And brought you to Brought you to? Brought you to? Tiga mo, hindi nakalagay. Dapat nakalagay dyan, brought you to promised land. Ano pinakaiba na ako? Brought you to myself. And I want you to brought you to promised land. Makong, may sinabi ba dyan promised land? Saan siya dadalhin? You see, that's encounter right there. Si Lord, after makalaya ng mga tao, sa Egyptian Empire, paglabas nila, ang unang-unang gustong magawa ng, mga, ng Diyos na mga taong ito, makilala siya. Because for how many years? For hundred years, never heard God, never know God, never read the Word, they are disconnected to God. Yung, ako po, sinabi ko sa inyo, na born again ako, 21 years old eh. At the age of 21 years old, for the last 21 years old, I never know God. I join religion, but I don't know God. So the first thing that God wants me to experience is to know Him personally. It's not about religion, but I want you to come to myself, sabi ni Lord. Ay, yung mga tao, paglabas sa Egypt, iniisip, promise lang. Sino naniwala, iba iniisip ni Lord sa iniisip natin. Alam niyo ba, kung kayo nagpunta ng promise land, hindi mo kilala Diyos, pagdating mo sa promise land, maraming Diyos, Diyosan doon. So pagdating mo doon, ay, ang ganda ng mga Diyos, Diyosan dito. Sige, dito ako, ikaw saan ka? Dito ako, ikaw. Mamimili ng Diyos yung mga yun. So ang unang gagawin ni Lord, ipapakilala niya, bago sila magpunta sa lupang pangako, siya mismo makilala nila na siya ang Diyos. Para pagpunta niya doon sa mga lugar ng may Diyos, Diyosan, Hindi sila sasamba sa Diyos Diyosa sapagkat pag sumamba sila sa mga Diyos Diyosan, sumpa ang aabutin ng buhay at lahi nila. You understand this, right? You know what is the meaning for 400 years? It took them about 30 to 40 generations without God. You know what does it mean? Yung lolo ng lolo ng lolo ng lolo mo, 40 times, don't know God. Yung lolo ng lolo ng lolo mo, don't know God. Yung lolo mo, don't know God. Yung tatay mo, don't know God. And you don't know God. And then suddenly on your time, God wants you to come to Him to know God. Is it a privilege? Yes. Amen? Tapos ang iniisip natin, let's go to promised land. Baluktot, di ba? 
So on this passage, you have to understand the context of this verse. You yourself have seen what I did to Egypt. And now I carried you on eagle's wing. Inalagaan ko kayo. Pinalaya ko kayo and brought you to yung pala ang unang-unang goal. Alam niyo yung ibig sabihin niyan? Ang bawat isang tao naging Christian, dadalin mo ang sarili mo sa Diyos. Tanong ko kayo, when was the last time you brought yourself to God? That's why meron tayong encounter. Because we will bring ourselves to God. But you know what? I will tell you the story. Hindi po kadali yun. Kasi po, pagdating po ng encounter, yung bringing yourself to God, marami hindi marunong. Marami na mimis nila. At marami sa kanila, hindi nila talaga naunawaan. So let's look at the story so that we can relay, re relate ourselves. Verse 7, ang sabi po dito, Now if you fully obey and keep my command, my covenant, then out of all nations, ito yung pangako niya, after yung coming to myself, ha? if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all the nation, you will be what? By treasured possession, although the whole earth is mine. And then verse 7, you will be for me what? A, a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. Ba, ibang klase pala plano ni Lord. Gusto silang palapitin sa kanya at may gagawin siya sa kanila. At alam niyo kung anong gagawin sa kanila? Gagawin silang kingdom of priest at gagawin silang isang holy nation. Kakaibang tao yun, ibig sabihin. Walang ganyang tao sila lang. Why? Because it was God who do tremendous things for them. Now, eto na ngayon. Kung bubuksan ninyo inyong Bible, I want you to open your Bible right now. In the book of Exodus, again, nandito pa ba kayo? Chapter 19, verse 8. Chapter 19, verse 8, ang sabi po dito, The people all responded, We will do everything the Lord has said. So Moses brought their answers back to the Lord. No? And then, sundan natin po sa pagdating po ng 10 and 11. Verse 10 and 11. Just read this passage. And the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow have them wash their clothes and be ready by the, by the third day because on that day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. <coughs> Ito na. Anabasa nyo? Ano sabi niya dito? The Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. 400 years, no visible form of God. 400 years, no God. And God said, I bring you out of Egypt so that you could come to myself. Encounter tayo, sabi niya. Kita tayo. Hindi niyo kilala. Magpapakilala ako sa inyo. Bababa ako sa bundok. Excited si Lord. Si Amen. Tama po ba, mga kapatid? Verse 16. Tignan niyo verse 16. <coughs> Ito na. On the morning, verse 16 tayo ha. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder, lightning with a thick cloud over the mountain, and a very loud trumpet blast. Everyone in the camp, ano, trembled. Verse 17, Then Moses led the people out to the camp to meet with God. Ito, nag-meet with God, oh. And they stood at the foot of the mountain. Verse 18, Mount Sinai was covered with smoke because the Lord descended on, the, on it in fire. The smoke billowed up from it like smoke from a furnace. And the whole mountain, what? Trembled violently. As the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spoke and the voice of God answered him. Meet tayo kay Lord. Lord. Chik, 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 chik. Lumilindol, kumukulog, kumikidlat. Ano to? Natatakot sila. Tol, ano to? Because, sabi po ng Bible kasi, the earth shake when the sound of his voice 
is heard. Tama? All this manifestation, eh, tayo, kulog pa lang, natatakot na tayo eh. Eh, may kasamang kidlat, tapos lumilindol. Tapos may bumababang usok sa mountain. May nadidinig ang, oh, 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 good morning. Natatakot sila, ano to? Mumu, parang ganun siya yung sinabi nila. Now, remember, for hundred years, they never know this God. They never experienced talking with this God. Na-imagine nyo ngayon kung ano nangyayari? And because of that, pagdating po ng chapter 19, then we will begin to see the problem. Okay? Look at verse 18. Exodus 20, 18. When the people saw the thunder, you know, and lightning and heard the trumpet and saw the mountain smoke, they trembled with fear, they stay at a, stay at a distance. Pag dito po ng verse 19, and said to Moses, umatras sila, sabi, Speak to us yourself and we will listen. But do not have God to speak us or we will die. Okay, bilang. Si Lord, excited, excited silang kausapin. Sila naman natakot. Moses, ano man ang message, pakitext mo na lang sa amin. Ha? Forward na lang, forward message. God is excited to meet them for that encounter. And of course, God, he, when He always appear, you will tremble for sure. They cannot handle those thunders and lightning. The earth shake, hindi nila ma-handle yun. So they make a decision to tell Moses, ikaw na lang makipag-usap. Takot ako. <laughs> ikaw na lang, Moses. Any message, sabihin mo na lang sa amin. So yan po sila na, Speak to us yourself and we will listen. But do not have God speak to us or we will die. And then look at what happened pagdating po ng verse 20. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. God has come to what? To test you. So that what? The fear of God will be with you to keep you from Teka muna, there is something on that word. You know why? Nung dumadating silog na mga kumukulog kumikidlat, pag natatakot ka, normal yun. Sabi ni, de, ni Moses, huwag kayong matakot. Yung nararamdaman ninyo, maganda yan sa'yo. Kasi kailangan nyo magkaroon ng takot sa Diyos. Sabi, kung hindi sila takot kay Diyos, Lord, gawin sana, appear tayo, Lord. Baka ganun ninyo lang si Lord. But because merong thunder, may lightning, may earth shaking, may loud trumpet, nanginginig yun, butot laman at dugo mo. Sino to? Diyos yun eh. And you know, how important is the fear of God in your life? Many people, Because of lack of encounter with God, they never develop the fear of God in their life. Kaya kita nyo, magaling tayo. Sabi ng nanay mo sa'yo, anak, wag ka muna magbo-boyfriend ha, bata ka pa. Opo naman. <laughs> Why? Because we easily make a promise, but we are ready to disobey. Tama ba? Tama. Tanong ko sa inyo, Do you have the fear of God? Madali tayo magsinungaling. Madali tayo mangopya. Madali tayo magmura. Is that what you mean? Fear of God? Niloloko natin magulang natin. Hindi tayo nagsasalita ng totoo. Is that what you mean? Fear of God? Pag magsisimba tayo kahit late, okay lang. Walang dalang Bible, walang notebook. Is that what you call fear of God? Habang kumakanta tayo, nagte-text ka, nag-worship tayo, ikaw tumatawag ng... Is that what you call fear of God? We don't have fear of God. Anong sabi ni Moses? Pag wala kang fear of God, it will not keep you from what? 
You know why you keep on sinning? Pastor, di ba sometimes? Kasi temptation, pastor. Eh. Ba't ka nagkakasala? I cannot resist temptation. No. You don't have fear of God, kaya ka nagkakasala. For you to avoid sinning against God, God want to put that fear in your heart. Alam nyo, sa nyo lang makukuha yan. During that time, you meet God face to face in an encounter. Then God will plant that fear in your heart. Sino sa nyo excited na narito kayo ngayon? Ha? Excited ba kayo? Malay nyo, baka dito kumulog. Kumidlat, mag-shake. Would you be agreeable on that? Ha? Amen. Eh, paano kung biglang lumabas ang Diyos dito? Ha? Ano kaya mangyari sa atin ngayon? Alam nyo, malamang may magandang mangyayari. Because when God came and He comes, our heart will be trembling in fear. And that's the beginning that fear of God is birthed in your life. Marami sa inyo ngayon, nagpunta po kayo dito. You don't have the fear of God. You know what happened pag wala tayong fear of God? Bibigyan tayo ng artificial na fear of God. Lalagyan tayo ng pampatakot. Alam niyo yung pampatakot? Para sumunod tayo kay Lord. Ten commandments. <laughs> Kasi kung may takot ka na, hindi na kailangan ng ten commandments eh. Takot ka na sa Diyos, mag adultery ka pa ba? Takot ka na sa Diyos, magnanako ka ba ba? Ha? May takot ka sa Diyos, mag-aago ka ba ng asawa ng iba? No. May takot ka sa Diyos, sasamba ka ba ba sa ibang Diyos-Diyosan? No. Eh pag walang takot sa Diyos, eh lahat gagawin mo. Kaya sabi ni Lord, Thou shall not worship other God. Isa-isa yun siya ni Lord eh. Eh kasi alam ni Lord, yun ang gagawin mo eh. Kaya kita nyo sa simbahan minsan, ang daming commandments. Tinin sa mga simbahan natin ngayon, pag Sunday service, Thou shall not open your cell phone during worship service. Ayun ang mga commandments. Eh kasi ang mga tao, wala nang takot eh. Ang kakapali kahit nag-worship. Oh. Tama mali? Walang takot eh. Darating sa church late, akala ko sino pang siga. Simula na ba? <laughs> Walang takot eh. Pupunta sa CR, nakalagay sa CR, please, uh, thou shall not leave the comfort of the dirty. May commandment na naman. Ang daming thou shall not. Amen. Yung timula na inyo, nag-aaral ka pa, thou shall not have boyfriend while you are studying. Ang daming... Daming thou shall not. Bakit maraming thou shall not? For lack of fear. Pero sa totoo lang, kung may takot ka sa Diyos, sasabihan ka ba ba ng nanay mo yun? Anak, huwag ka mangungok. Kita mo mga, mga estudyante, kung mangungok yan, walang katakot-takot. Kung mag-coding yan, hindi natatakot siya. Why? Wala nang takot eh. I-expel kita. Tingnan natin. This is a 90 days challenge. <laughs> Why? Kasi nga yung heart natin is not committed to that word of fear of God. You know what? Nung ang dulos for Christ, nagsimula po ang dulos ng walang encounter. Ang tagal namin lumago. 15 years, 200 lang. Noong 2004, binag- nilagay na po namin yung encounter. Lahat ng tagadulos ng encounter. Nabless ako. Lahat nagkaroon ng fear of God. Lumago yung church. From 200, ngayon nasa more than 12,000 na. Buo nga lang yun ang encounter ng ganito. Kasi nung araw, wala kami encounter na ginagawa eh. So yung mga, yung mga Christian, sila yung mga nangongopia, yung sasabihin namin, huwag magbo-boyfriend. Wala naman po, hindi ko naman boyfriend yun eh. After a few months, buntis. O, kala ka ba, hindi mo boyfriend, ba't naging buntis? <laughs> Walang fear of God. Dito-dito niyo ako, harapan magsinungaling. Kaya sila niniwala, kailangan natin ng encounter. 
Sino ito yung aamin, Pastor? Kailangan ko yan. That's, that's what I need. Amen? Amen? Sino sa inyo hindi mapayag na uuwi ng walang fear of God? Alam niyo kung ako sa inyo, hindi ako uuwi ng walang takot sa Diyos. Kasi iba sa inyo, bago tumino, tatakutin pa. Hindi na kita pag-aaralin. <laughs> hindi na kita... Pero sabi ko sa mga nanay, Nay, huwag niyo pong takutin yung anak ninyo kasi hindi naman matatakot yan. Pag nakakita ng gwapo yan, kakalimutan ka niyan. <laughs> eh, gagawin ko, Pastor? Pati niyo mo sa encounter. Paglabas niyan, may takot siya, Diyos. Hindi ka naman mong problema. Ang dami ko nakita ang testimony. Maraming na-preserve ng mga kabataan. Hindi dahil sa tinakot ng nanay. Nagkaroon na sila ng fear of God's heart nila. Ano daw ang purpose ng fear of God? So that the fear of God will be with you to, to keep you from sinning. Tanong ko sa inyo, yan ba ang nagagawa ng fear of God sa atin to keep us from sinning? Eh tayo mga kapatid, sabi ng Bible eh, we are like a sheep. No? who has gone astray. Alam niyo ang Bible? Gumamit siya ng isang perfect illustration na ang tao daw ay parang tupa. Sabi ko, Lord, nag-aaral po ako ng konting pag-aaral sa mga hayop. Ang pangit naman. <laughs> si Lord naman, ba't mo naman kami iginaya sa tupa? Eh, alam niyo po, ang tupa, yan po ang pinakatangang hayop eh. Doon tayo inahilan tulad ng Diyos. Ang tanga ng hayop na tupa. Pag uminom sila, iinom yun, ano? Hanggat di mo inaalis yun, iinom yun, sumabog ang tiyan. Ang tanga! Sasabog na yung tiyan, inom pa rin ang inom. Di ba tanga? Pag naglalakad yun, nagkukwentuhan silang dalawa. Sasabihin ng pasto, oh, may bangin. Ah! Patay. Ang tanga! Inang tupa. Sila, pag nasagotan, may konting dugo, ayaw din lang makita yung red na blood. Kakaskasin nila. Akala nila, mawawala. Lalong nasusugat. May kuti, labas ng bituka. May kuti, yung ginagraman. May kuti, patay na. Ang tanga. Gas-gas lang, kinamatay. Gas-gas. Di ba ang tanga? Sabi ni Lord, parang ganun kayo. Ang tatanga nyo, parang ganun. Alam mo nang ang sigarilyo masama, nagyoyosi ka pa. Ang tanga mo. Alam mo na yung alak nakakasira ng baga, iniinom mo. Ang tanga mo. ba? Diba? Tama ba? Tama ba? Alam mo nang dapat nag-aaral ka kung ano ano ginagawa mo. Nagdodota ka. Ang tanga mo. Totoo pa maraming tanga? Ha? At magtataka kayo, mga bata, ang babata, gustong tumanda. Yung matanda, gustong bumata. Yung kulot, gusto magpatuwid. Yung tuwid, gusto magpakulot. Yung puti, gusto magpaitim. Yung itim, gusto magpaputi. What's happening here? Sino nakakunawa na sinasabi ko? Ha? Tinim mo ko, sabi mo, parang ikaw yun ha? Alam mo naman, pag nahuli ka ng kokodigo ng ongopia, ma-expel ka. Ginagawa ko pa rin. You know why? We are like a sheep. Without a shepherd. Ganon tayo katanga. Pero sabi ng Bible, mahal tayo ng Panginoon. Sabi ni Lord, sige nga, ako na lang magpapastol sa iyo. <laughs> Hindi tayo kayang mabuhay kung wala ang ating Panginoon. Amen po ba? Kaya buti na lamang nakakilala tayo sa Diyos. Ngayong tanga pa rin tayo, pero may Diyos na tayong sinusundan. Kaya ngayon, matalino na tayo. Amen? Eh, papano pa kung ang buhay mo wala ang Diyos? Kaya isang, ang taong walang Diyos, isang malaking katangahan. Amen? Tapos manliligaw sa'yo, lalaki, hindi Christian, walang Diyos. Mamahalin ko ba itong tanga na to? Parang ganun eh, no? Si Amen. Sino gusto mapangasawa mo? Tanga. 
Yung walang Diyos, tanga yun eh. You cannot live without God. Amen? Life without God, it doesn't work. Hindi ho mag-work yung ganun. Sino po may natututunan ngayon? Amen? Sino sa inyo naniniwala? Kailangan natin ng encounter. Amen? Ang purpose ng encounter, kaya kayo narito, para lagyan kayo ng takot sa Diyos. Ha? Yung bang tipong kahit wala na yung mata ni pastor, tayo, uy, 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 si pastor, uy. Pastor, ano po? May tinatago eh. But you know what I learned? Pag nasa Panginoon tayo, may takot dapat tayo sa Diyos. Prayer ko, huwag kayong umuwi nang hindi nyo nailagay, nailagay ng Diyos sa puso ninyo yung fear of God. Malagay lang po yung fear of God na yan, sulit na tayo. Amen. At lalabas tayo sa mundong ito. Hindi tayo natatakot harapin ang future natin. Because isa lang ang kinatatakutan natin. Ang Diyos. Amen. Hindi tayo natatakot mawala ng pera. Hindi tayo natatakot sa future natin. Hindi tayo natatakot doon sa mga lugar na kaysa doon magawa eh. Because isa lang ang kinatatakutan natin. Ang ating Panginoon. Hindi tayo natatakot iwanan tayo ng nanay tatay natin. Hindi tayo natatakot kahit anong itsura natin. Hindi tayo natatakot. Tumitin kita sa alamin. Hindi tayo natatakot sa buka natin. Why? Alam natin. Kasama natin ang Panginoon. Amen po ba? Amen. Sabi mo sa atin, huwag ka matakot. Lalo na sa mukha mo, sabi mo. Sino dito niniwala? May fear of God na dito sa puso niya. Amen. So tonight, bago po tayo manalangin, this is the main goal why we have an encounter. Amen po ba? Mahirap po ang walang encounter.